Guys, thanks for tuning into these videos. I, I really appreciate it. So today's video, we're talking about fraction bars. What is a fraction bar? So there's just there's just ways to visualize fractions, and we're going to consider this the bar, right? This is one. It's a complete bar. It's one, one bar. Now, if we were to break that bar into two, okay, we'd have two pieces. Look, we have one piece, one out of two. Remember everybody, your numerator tells you how many pieces you have out of, the denominator tells you out of the total. So how many out of? One out of two. Okay, one out of two. What happens when you get two out of two? Oh, I have two pieces out of two. That equals one. If you have two pieces out of two, you have the full thing. So, fraction bar, one. And again, look, fraction bar, if you have thirds, okay, one out of three. One, two, three. Fraction bars are really cool because it's a very simple way that you can look at fractions and compare fractions. We have quarters, okay, one out of four. That's a quarter. So think about money. How many quarters equals a dollar? Four. If you have four quarters, you have one dollar. Four out of four equals one. Anytime your numerator, the number on top, matches the denominator, you have one. That equals one. So fraction bars, you can draw fraction bars on your paper, okay, or you can um, you can make little paper strips and create your own fraction bars. But what I want to show you is that you can compare fraction bars to one to another. So let's look at, this is eighths, right? One out of eight. So if you have eight out of eight, if you have eight eighths, eight out of eight equals one, okay? And so let's take a look at that. Eight out of eight equals one. Here's my one. It is the exact same, it's the exact same as eight out of eight. One equals eight out of eight, okay? This is really, really cool. Check this out, using fraction bars. So here we're dealing with fourths, right? Fourths and eighths. How much does two eighths equal? Look, one, two. Two eighths equals a fourth. Two eighths equals a fourth. It gets even cooler, okay? If I have one fourth and one fourth, it equals one half. Look at this. Four eighths. Four eighths equals one half. Well, that's simple, right? Four out of eight. What is half of eight? Oh, half of eight is four. Eight divided by two equals four, right? Two times four is eight. So check this out. Boom, four eighths equals one half. It's amazing. Fraction bars are cool because it allows you to visualize how fractions compare to one another. So that's just dealing with eighths and fourths and halves. What about if we look at sixths, six and thirds, okay? So here earlier we dealt with one third, okay? Why would I know that one sixth kind of relates to one third? Because it, they're multiples, okay? And we're, look for the video on multiples and simplifying fractions, okay? So fractors and multiples. Check this out. How do I know that um, six uh, relates to one third? Because we can multiply the three times two. And what do you get? Two one sixths equals one third. How amazing is that? And again, what is six divided by two? If we divide six by two, right, we get three. Three one sixths. Okay, so three sixths equals one half. Three six equals one half. Okay. Wow. How amazing is that? It's, it blows me away. Check this out. Equals 
four eighths. Okay, three six is the same as four eighths. Why is that? Because it is half. When the numerator is half of the denominator, it equals one half, okay? One half equals two fourths equals three sixths, right? Equals four eighths equals five tenths, okay? That's awesome. All of these fractions are the same. Why, right, look, we can look at one, two, three, four, five out of 10 is the exact same as one half. Is the exact same as one, two, three, four, five, six out of 12. The same as one half. It's the same as four eighths. It's the same as three sixths, one, two, three. Guys, this is really cool. It's the same as one quarter, okay? Now, how come I've skipped one fifths? How come I've skipped the fifths? Well, because two out of five is not equal. It's that two is not half of five. Three is not half of five. So look at this. It doesn't match. It doesn't line up. Two fifths is not half. Okay, it doesn't equal. And three fifths, look, it, it doesn't match. It's sticking over on both edges. All right. So, guys, here's a, just a simple look, quick look at, at fraction bars. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what I can do for you, and I'll make it happen.